What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be summoning on the Regal Rabbits banner and this is the spring banner of this year and I'm sorry I'm a bit late on this summoning, I haven't even redeemed my free summon here so I really wanna get Pala uh, from this banner, she's definitely gonna be a big priority for me obviously I would like to get all of the units present on this banner uh, but Pala and Marissa is definitely like my top priority, I know I did uh, make fun of Marissa on my uh, banner review as just another land flyer, but I do like Marissa, so I would like to get her. Okay, I got Laszlo as my free summon. Yeah, Axe Breaker is really useful in Arena Assault for dealing with Surter. Okay, so Drog here. Okay, let's see and uh, go for Veronica. Veronica's tome is so annoying. <laughs> It has such a bad synergy with Desperation. Okay, come on. Please. Okay, I'm gonna get Nino. <laughs> I already have a plus 10 Nino. But yeah, Flying Nino is slightly better than the Spring Veronica that we have caught here. So I'm just gonna be doing the full circles. Really hoping that I get lucky uh, on this banner and get the Focus Units. Okay, I'm gonna get Bowie. So let's see if I'm gonna be getting Marissa on my first batch or not. I've got four four stars so far. So not really the worst thing and uh, Okay, there's the smoke. This could be Marissa and it, No, just please no <laughs> Why Perry? She also has those two lines of dialogue which makes me click on her thing. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get my free summon on this. Here's at the fair banner. I actually fought it off a Spring Alphonse to my plus 10 Aries when Defense Smoke was not a thing on Pan. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with the Greenstone. See if I can get like Alphonse or Sharina. Okay, it's just gonna be a 3 star. Gunter, okay. I'll, uh, I'll also get my free summon on this 2017 Spring Banner. You know, Spring Camilla with good IVs would be nice. Uh, unfortunately, Spring Lucina is completely outclassed by Cliff in every way possible. Yeah, Cliff, uh, Cliff just completely outclasses a old unit like Lucina. Okay, I got Nino. Alright, so let's continue with this banner. I'll try to go with this colorless stone. I didn't really have any kind of colorless stone on my first patch here. So maybe Bruno will come here. Like bursting through his shirt or something like that. Uh, okay, never mind. It's Sarah. Yeah, I like Sarah. Okay, let's see if I can get Paula from here. So let's get on to the questions which you guys have left on my summoning videos. So as always, if you have any kind of question which you want uh, me to answer in a summoning video, you can leave them in the comment section down below. But please be sure to use the hashtag questions because it really makes it easy for me to uh, just see your questions and compile all of them in a big folder because I'm not really able to answer all of the uh, questions from the previous summoning video right away. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the first question. So as a free to player, I have not spent any money on Faye, obviously. <laughs> I think I have been doing good with a Hoshiden Summer, Mikaya, Leslie Marth and a few more. Knowing that you have a free-to-play account, which I do, uh, I do actually have another account. I I don't think yeah, I don't think I've uh, I've used that account in any of my videos, but I do have a separate free-to-play account where I've not spent a penny. Unlike this main account, which I'm summoning on. So I would like to know how you save orbs. Do you stockpile them until you have tons of summons, or do you just spend them all at once when you finally reach five orbs? Also, do you have any good ideas to get orbs moderately quickly? Well, other than trying to win your giveaway. Okay, this final line actually makes me really sad because YouTube just completely uh, nuked my giveaways. And actually, any kind of giveaway in general on the site is uh, is no longer a thing. You'll probably get absolutely annihilated if you actually do anything like that. So, on my free-to-play account, I do save orbs. Uh, and I don't really summon whenever I have five orbs. That's, I think, a really impulsive way of spending your resources. I know many people do that, but that's definitely not optimal and I don't really do that. Now the thing is that the way how I save orbs is that I have absolutely zero urge to spend orbs whenever there is any kind of new banner. 
Now, that is actually a good thing or a bad thing. It's up to you to decide. Uh, because I make so many summoning videos on every banner. Uh, like, on every banner, I've made a summoning video, which has got new heroes. So, pretty much, my summoning urge and those kinds of tickles you get from inside are completely dead within me. Sure, I, it's not, I'm not saying that I do not enjoy summoning. Because I do. I do like getting the characters I want, obviously. But I don't just have the urges anymore. Because I've summoned so much that I just no longer have those things. But, um... A really good way I would suggest to save orbs as a creative player is to just let them sit in your inbox, uh, like on the owl on the home screen. Just do not collect them. Just let them sit in the inbox, and uh, you wouldn't even know how many orbs you have stockpiling. And just break the, just break your bank, I guess. Whenever you have some kind of good unit that you want to go for, so that's also a way of um, of saving orbs, and I would definitely recommend that. And another way I would suggest, which is going to be helping you long term, is just think critically. Like, for example, on this banner, just think. If you're, are you going to be using Spring Marissa all that much when you already have a like plus five merch Shigure, which you're trying to build up? Do you really need Marissa? If if you like her and the answer is yes, then sure, go for her. But are you going to be using her all that much to spend like so many orbs on this four unit banner? I, I think you really need to think that as a free to player whenever uh, you try to summon on any kind of banner because that's the mentality I use on my free to play account. So yeah, that's that's my answer to that. And uh, the quick the quickest way to get orbs is probably I guess chain challenges if you're not doing them. I do that with my free to play account. Uh, I have saved up a lot of orbs uh, when Legendary Azura came out. I spent like a 300 orbs on her to get her. And she was, of course, minus attack, but I'm fine with that. And I saved orbs for getting Legarn and Hellbendy um, from the from the voting on that banner. I got really lucky on that, uh, that it was a two-unit banner. So I saved orbs for that because I wanted to give Red Duel Flying to my Pala and Green Duel Flying to my... Uh, not Flying, Green Duel Infantry to my Nino for my Arena Core. So, yeah, I did save orbs for there. And also saved orbs for Loki, actually. I did pull uh, Duma and Loki from the Legendary Banner. Um, because Loki is really good in Aether Raids. Uh, because she's pretty much a walking tactics room. That you can actually control. So, yeah, that's my answer to your question. And I'm gonna get another race in. And I'm really sorry about the final line of your question. <laughs> that actually makes me sad. Okay, so two race ins back to back. Um, 4%. Now, a lot of people might think, why am I summoning on this banner uh, when I just said that to think critically? The thing is that I, I do YouTube for a living. Like, this is how I pay for my college and support my parents and pay my bills. So, this is a kind of investment and I'm definitely going to be investing into Pala because I just got her. <laughs> yes, I got Pala. So, that's why I summon because I also have to make like arena battles once a while and I also have to make theme battles. Um, so yeah, summoning does bring a lot of uh, things to my videos and I can also have a more informed opinion on units because I actually use them because I like go after every unit uh, with this account. Thanks to the support of you guys, I'm able to do this. Uh, so I got plus speed parallel minus HP IV. Uh, this is a fantastic stat spread. I think her best IV is actually plus attack because it's a super boon, but plus speed is also really good. I'm definitely going to be using her in Arena Assault. For sure. Not gonna be using her in Aether Raids. I don't really care for this skill. It doesn't really go with my playstyle. I just use DC Vantage users. Or like CC Vantage users. So I don't really need to disarm traps. Uh, so Pala. I actually really like this art. I know many people are really critical of Mayo's artwork. But I really like how their art looks. Okay. She's got that uh, Gasai Yuno face with that hand posture. So... No need to summon on the red stones because I got a pretty good IV Pala. I don't really need her for any kind of fodder. So I'm just gonna focus on the other focus units from this banner. So let's go with that. And I'm gonna get Gaius. So let's move on to our next question. So it's from Fanatic Mario Man. <laughs> nice name. Hey, it's the guy who used you as a source in a speech. How do you feel about being an official academic source? <laughs> okay, so uh, he actually emailed me and uh, there was actually uh, a speech thing going on in a school, I think. 
I don't was it in college or school? I don't really know it, it was in a it, it was in a school I'll just say that so these students basically had to give a speech on any topic they're passionate about and uh, Fanatic Mario man uh, was actually really passionate about ether raids So he did ask me for a couple of pointers uh, for ether raids um, so I did give it to him. Uh, it was, uh, either it's defense actually, more specifically now that I think about it. So yeah, I feel great. I, I never really thought that I would become an academic source for someone. <laughs> so yeah, really cool uh, school you've got and really cool teachers who actually uh, just let their students pursue their hobbies and passions and actually speak about them in public. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good way of building up confidence as well uh, uh, in students. So yeah, props to your teacher, props to you. And uh, yeah, thank you for asking me that question. I really felt nice uh, when I answered your email. Actually, he first approached me uh, on Reddit. Yeah, he actually messaged me on Reddit. And then I gave him my email and then we talked there and I gave him pointers right there. Okay, I'm gonna get Bruno. Yes, <laughs> I got Bruno. I actually really like T Axel Rod's voice acting. I personally don't really care much about Bruno. Okay, I, I know I'm gonna get absolutely annihilated in comments for saying that, but <laughs> I actually don't find him very interesting, at least now. I know he has something with Cursed Blood or something, so unless they expand that uh, in future books, I don't really uh, find him all that interesting, but I'm a big fan of T Axel Rod's voice acting. So he's got Ovoid Staff, Attack, Defense, Push, Dazzling Staff. Um, plus resistance minus HP. This is a kick in teeth. He doesn't have very good resistance, but I'm still gonna be building him up. I like bulky healers. I've built up an Azama, and I use him a lot. Azama is actually the most uh, used healer I've got on both of my accounts. I've built up a 5-star Azama on both of my accounts, and I just use him a lot. I just like bulky healers who just do not evaporate when they get hit, so I'm a big fan of that. So yeah, I got uh, I got Bruno two focus units down. So I no longer need to summon on the uh, redstone and on the colorless stone. So I'm done with the red and the colorless hell. Those are the two most painful hells in my opinion. Blue hell is also a thing, uh, but yeah, green hell is not really a thing in my opinion because green has got pretty good five star pity breakers even if you do not get the unit you want. Uh, so yeah, I guess Raisin can be a bad pity breaker. Uh, because he's demoted. So I'm gonna get Jagan. So that was the second question. Uh, I was actually really surprised that schools actually do this. They let their students speak about on it like any kind of topic as a speech. Because the other person is probably not gonna be having any idea if that student is saying right or wrong. <laughs> but I guess it's a speech so they're just uh, trying to judge your speaking capabilities. I got Bruno, Pala, I've got pretty lucky on this banner, I'm not gonna lie. This is a 4 unit banner. So, let's move on to the next question. So, the next question comes from Randy Edge. I recognize his profile picture because he comments a lot on my videos. And he's been a very active uh, subscriber, so yeah, thank you for sticking around, my dude. And uh, your profile art is really awesome. Who is the artist again? So, it's actually uh, Dakalot. I think that's how you pronounce their name. He's a really, really talented artist, and uh, he is an expert on the Hidari art style. And uh, if you have played Fire Emblem Echoes, that's the art style I'm talking about, the art which uh, characters from that game have. So he's the one who I commissioned my like art from, uh, which you're seeing on the layout right now on the left side. Absolutely amazing artist. You should definitely check out their work. They put out a lot of good artwork. Uh, quite frequently. Yeah, he, he's definitely active on Twitter and he takes commissions too. So I'm gonna get Beruka here. Okay. No need to summon on the colorless and the uh, redstones here. So units from this uh, banner don't really have the best fodder actually. Okay, this is a jackpot. These are the stones which I'm really wanting to summon. I could get Mirsa here and I'll be done for. Okay, so next question. What is your Arena Pala build? Do you ever do videos on uh, free-to-play arena teams? Uh, so yeah, I do have a Plus and Pala on my free-to-play account and I'll put a picture of her build right here. So I mainly use her for arena for the most part. And I really like uh, using her because she could stall out a unit like uh, Surter, definitely. And uh, she can also provide that guidance support. 
And I actually like Padla a lot, so I just built her up. I was really like uh, considering Shida or Pala, but as soon as Pala got her weapon refined, I just went with Pala because I like Pala way more. Um, and I really like the art which original Pala has got, so I just went with Pala. And I could do like arena videos uh, with my free to play account if you guys want. It's really up to you guys actually. The reason why I personally do not do this because I'm gonna be having the same like three core members. So it's gonna get boring after a while and only the like the bonus unit is gonna be changing and that's another reason why I don't really do like arena videos after the, we had the, the change uh, where you had to get the bonus kills. Uh, so I thought that could get boring uh, but with my free to play account I could do that because it's a free to play account and more people in my audience who are free to play could be able to relate to that. So I basically have an arena core of plus 10 Pala, plus 10 Gwendolyn, and plus 10 Nino. All three units uh, can be obtained uh, as a free to player at plus 10. Okay, I'm gonna get Tana. Okay, as a pity breaker. Tana! <laughs> I, th I think one, one of the Marissa's dialogues from Paralog is a reference to her support with Tana. So, yeah. Plus attack Tana, wow. I already have a plus attack Tana, but yeah, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna be merging her. Uh, I'm not gonna be really foddering her off. Okay, let's go with this. So I could do the arena videos with my free to play account uh, because on this main account, I don't really have units in my core which are accessible by free to play units because I've got a plus 10 uh, fee arm and uh, a plus 10 Hector. The original version, not the legendary version. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I don't really do <laughs> arena videos from my main account. I also have a plus 10 Harden and plus 10 Marth. Uh, the normal version Marth. So, yeah, that's why I don't really do that. But with my free-to-play account, I could actually definitely do that. Okay, I accidentally summoned on the redstone while I was speaking. And I summoned Karin. So, I just uh, wasted four orbs right there. If it was Hinata or Selena, that would not have been a waste, but... Okay, two green stones. So the next question. Do you watch Smash Ultimate Esports? If so, who are some of your favorite players? I definitely watch a lot of Smash Ultimate Esports, but the thing is that I don't really watch it live on Twitch because I'm not a very Twitch person and the time zones uh, is usually really, like, uncomfortable for me. So I don't really watch it live. I usually just see the video on demand or like the uploaded videos on their YouTube channel, whatever like channel is hosting the tournament, VG Bootcamp, Clash Tournament, anyone. Uh, so I usually just watch them on YouTube and my favorite player has to be Nairo and also a Ganondorf player from Montreal uh, who's named Smok. Recently has been uh, using some other characters but I still uh, watch him because he does pull out his Ganondorf like few times even now so I do root for Nairo in any kind of tournament and I also watch Nairo a lot of, on his YouTube channel I even did that in Smash 4 days and I just watch Nairo and Zero a lot on their YouTube channel I think they're really funny and uh, they just have great personality what can I say and they make a lot of really funny moments uh, with their friends and their friends are usually top level players as well so it's really funny, and also Nairo plays Ganon, so of course I'm gonna root for him. He also plays Lucina, I play Lucina, so of course. And in Smash 4, he used to play uh, Dark Pet, a bit. <laughs> so I used to watch him there too. In Brawl, I wasn't really following the competitive scene all that much, uh, but ever since Smash 4, I have been doing that. So yeah, I watch Nairo and Zero on their YouTube channel as like the daily thing which I watch for Smash Ultimate. And uh, when it comes to actual tournaments, yeah, definitely Nairo. That reverse 3 he did on light. Oh my god, that's the best set I've watched for like, uh, yeah, probably out of Smash for Ultimate. Because such a crazy comeback with a character like Ganon against, uh, against a like top 5 Ultimate player. Okay, I'm gonna get Marissa, yes. Yes, I'm gonna get Marissa. There we go. Two top priority units done. Pala, Marissa. She's... My plus resistance minus defense. I don't really care. I just wanted to get her. I liked Marissa even as a kid uh, when I first played Sacred Stones. But 
one unit which I liked more than Marissa in Sacred Stones was actually Tethys. I did have a bit of crush as a kid on Tethys. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping they can release Tethys anytime soon as a Red Mage Dancer. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, so not gonna be summoning on the blue stones because I have Marissa right here. So Veronica is the only unit left. And uh, I've been doing quite a few no Veronica guides for Abyssal Map. So I'm not really too sure if Veronica is happy with me or not. Uh, so let's see if, if she gets summoned because she's the only focus unit left on this banner. I'm really happy with this banner because I got pretty much all of the focus units other than Veronica. And didn't really have any kind of other pretty breakers, so that's definitely a fun thing. So I'm just gonna be sniping the green stones now. Okay, so done with the blue hell, colorless hell, and red hell. Just have to go with the green stones. All right, another question. So you've you've probably done playthroughs of a fireman game, but have you ever considered doing another one? The videos could have a similar vibe as your summoning videos, where you could just talk about stuff and answer questions. Great videos, always keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that when Three Houses comes out. Absolutely. I'm going to be on that game because I've been waiting for it. And uh, I have done Let's Play on Shadows of Valentia, Awakening, uh, uh, Fire Emblem Fates. So yeah, I've done those games on my channel. Actually, that those are not even the games which I actually did. I also did one uh, for Blazing Sword when I was like 13 years old. But... Uh, me being a dumb kid, I used some like copyrighted music and when I was getting partnered, uh, I had to remove those videos. So Blazing Blade was actually the first, I guess, playthrough I've done on my channel. So I'm definitely going to be doing that uh, whenever Three Houses comes out. So I'm not just going to be sticking to Fire Room Heroes, I'm going to be definitely doing the main games as well as they come. Okay, 208 orbs left. Uh, we're at no pity rate. No green stones, okay. I guess I'll just go with the with the blue stone. Yeah, and then just dip. No point of like trying to get any other like copy of these focus units, which I already have. All right, so the next question comes from Blushy Boys. Uh, who are your favorite Fates retainers? Mine, in terms of personality, is Niles, and for strength, it's Effie. Uh, so my favorite retainer, hmm. Probably Saizo because, like, he's the most serious retainer out of anyone. A lot of them are goofy. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, sure, he could be goofy. But I really feel bad for Hinoka because she's got, like, two of these retainers. One of them just keeps falling into traps and the other one doesn't really care. So my favorite Fates retainers are definitely uh, Saizo and, uh, and Kagero. I also really like their supports. It's actually pretty mature of them to break up uh, just because they had their differences and wanted to protect uh, Lord Ryoma over anything else. I think that's really admirable and that's something a lot of, I think, Fates retainers miss. But all of them are really loyal to their liege, so I'm, I'm not really saying any of them is, like, not loyal. But it's just that Kagiro and Saizo have got more loyalty than any other retainer. And uh, Ryoma definitely needs that. Ryoma is the type of character who just goes off after uh, after a tragedy has happened in his family. So, yeah, you could I can see why Kagiro and uh, Saizo need to be so serious. I also really like Saizo's voice acting. I think that's amazing, and I, I actually really like his support with Laszlo. So basically, they have this kind of bet to see how many girls in the street actually approve them and uh, not just reject them. And uh, surprisingly... For Laszlo, Saizo actually wins that. Yeah. So yeah, I actually really like that support. I really like Laszlo a lot, but Perry just kills it for me. Uh, if Xander had any other retainer than Perry, then I would have said Xander because I like Laszlo a lot. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite face retainers. I'm gonna get Brave Ike here. Uh, steady Breath. Minus attack, okay. Uh, minus attack and... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be using him for Steady Breath and Aether. So that's what I mean. Green Pity Breakers are not really all that bad. At least for me, in my personal like preference and opinion. So I'll just summon on this blue stone and then just leave. Not getting any green stones, which is definitely annoying. So Subaki is pretty good. 
Yeah, Subaki, I also like Subaki because he's also super serious and always tries to like do his best. Uh, he's actually really narcissistic. <laughs> but yeah, I like uh, I like Subaki, but I don't uh, but I don't really like Hana. I don't really like her like support conversation with Corin. Uh so yeah, that's why Saizo and Kagero was my pick. I'm going to get Erika. Okay, I'm going to back out then. Okay, I'm just gonna summon on this redstone and leave. I guess they don't really have any kind of plan of, uh, of giving me any kind of green stone, uh, which is annoying. Okay, another Erika. Back to back Erika on the same spot. Okay. Thank you, two green stones. Now, Veronica, please just get summoned so that, so that I can stop. Okay, it's gonna be Frederick. I really hope for the book 3 conclusion, like, they can have Veronica fight uh, Thracer, or I guess Thracer, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Yeah, they could have uh, Veronica fight her. I think that would be pretty cool, and uh, Alphonse could fight Lif. Yeah, I, I would actually really like that. This, this is a jackpot, man. Three green stones, that's, that's a lot. Green stones are pretty shy. They don't really show up all that much. I'm gonna get Titania. Come on. Come on, Veronica. All of your other bunny friends have uh, showed up and uh, easily joined my army. I definitely do not want you to join my army. Come on, Merrick. Come on. I wanted Lou and you showed up. I wanted Veronica and you show up. Why is it that whenever I want any kind of green mage, you just show up? What's up with that? Uh, okay, so appearance rate is 3.25. Okay, two green stones. Much better than not having any kind of green stone. And it's gonna be Nino. Okay, once again. So the next question is asking me, how do you build a team? You're pretty good at it, where do you even begin? So in my opinion, team building isn't really all that hard in Fire Emblem Heroes compared to some other competitive games like a competitive Pokemon or VGC metagame uh, because you have to consider a lot of threats and uh, synergy in Pokemon. And Fire Emblem Heroes, you also have to do that, but to a lesser extent, I would argue. Uh, so basically to make a team, you pick a unit that you want to make a team around. So, for example, I would pick Alm, and uh, Alm is really good against Dragon, so I would pick uh, some kind of Dancer who can just help offensively uh, with Alm. And his Weapon Refine does, uh, does only work when he's at full health. So I'll probably use a unit like Raisin or Leon who could restore his health uh, every turn so that he could have his Falchion ready. So that's the kind of team I would make. And then on the final slot, I'll probably have a good strong green unit who could take care of like the blue threats which Alm can struggle against. So yeah, that's the general team building uh, you have to do. It really depends from mode to mode. And to be honest, the reason why team building isn't really all that hard in Fire Emblem Heroes is because you could like counter teams of your enemy or like the foe or any kind of other mode. For example, you've got an Abyssal map and uh, say you've got a lot of flyers on that map. Like, like, let's say uh, some kind of, uh, some kind of map for Duma. Like, Flyers absolutely destroy that map. So, Duma's Abyssal map can be countered by Flyer Mom Team. You could easily go for that. And in Arena Assault, you do counter team your opponents. Just pick the units which have advantage. And in Arena, you don't really have the chance of doing that because only one unit has to get the bonus kills for the points. In Ether Raids, you also counter team. Like, I'm gonna be using my CC Vantage or DC Vantage units against a team that doesn't have any kind of hardy bearing on fire sweep weapon users. And if they have, then I'll probably go with some other strategy. Uh, maybe some kind of Gale Force Cavalier I'll pull up, like Legendary Ephraim, Greed, or anyone like that. Uh, so it really depends on your opponent's team, and you can counter pick, and you can counter pick for the most part. So just build a team, or specifically use a team which would be uh, better against that mode or a foe. So I'm gonna get Titania once again. Okay, 109 orbs to go. 
two green orbs. Okay, please, Veronica, just show up. All of your other bunny friends didn't really give me this much trouble. I guess she doesn't like that I'm not using her all that much in my free to play guides. Uh, it's not only that I try to avoid using her, but my first, like, approach to any kind of abyssal map is with a team which does not have Veronica. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the reason why. It's not like I'm going out of my way to not use Veronica, because I've actually got some really, really angry comments from people, uh, who are mad that I'm not using Brave Veronica in my abyssal solutions because they picked Brave Veronica just because they thought I would use her in my guides. Uh, which is fair, uh, but I'm gonna be using her whenever a map requires. When a map can be done without Brave Veronica or any kind of Brave Hero, then I'll probably do that uh, method instead. Because it can cover up majority of the players more. So with my guides, my like aim is to always just aim for the large majority. Uh, like how my guides can be useful to the large majority. So that's my approach. And even if I use like Veronica, some people still get mad that I'm using Veronica. So either way, I cannot win <laughs> because people get mad if I use her and if I do not use her both. So yeah, that's why I've not been using her. Okay, I'm gonna get Veronica here. I guess after hearing my situation, Veronica really felt bad for me and just showed up. Because it's not like I was not using her purposely in Abyssal Maps. And she is plus attack. Minus speed. Okay. So yeah, I could make her a one-shot unit with death. And to be honest, Veronica can get extremely fast with her tome. So uh, that's fine. But this tome, I'm not really a big fan of this. Because I cannot spam the original combo of Fury Desperation. So that definitely makes me a sad puppy. So yeah, I'm going to be building her up. Those are all of the units from this banner. Uh, didn't get one minus attack focus unit. Uh, which is a really good thing. I did get a minus attack pity breaker, but not a focus unit. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this summoning video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like and uh, let me know about your summoning results in the comment section down below. You could even tweet them at me. Uh, if it's a good pull or bad pull, feel free to share that with me. I don't really mind. And I actually really like when people send their summoning results to me. I usually just favorite their tweet just to let them know that I've seen this. Uh, because sometimes in college, it's not really possible for me to reply to every single tweet. So I just favorite it uh, as a way of showing like I've seen this tweet. So I do enjoy seeing those. So feel free to do that. And uh, if you enjoyed, then just leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Mom Heroes content. And uh, please be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can get updates to my videos whenever I upload those. Because YouTube is about as slow as uh, Intelligent Systems trying to give an all to Anna. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.